Hi, my name is Akanksha Pathyay and I am your English instructor. In today's class, we will be solving the exercise portion of Unit 6, which is making offers and responding to them. Let's begin. Let's start our lesson by reading the dictionary entries and then let's solve the activity portion. So here we can see the word guru and the British pronunciation, B-R-E means the British pronunciation and we can see the word guru there and B-R-E means British pronunciation and N-A-M-E is the American pronunciation. So noun is the word class of guru and the meaning of guru is a Hindu or Sikh religious teacher or leader. And the second meaning, the informal one is a person who is an expert on a particular subject or who is very good at doing something. So STH means something. A management, health, fashion, etc. guru. Now here we can see that a sentence is formed by using the word guru. Jean Paul Satter was the guru of post-war French philosophy. Next we have mastery. And we have the British and the American pronunciation for mastery. The first one says mastery, while the second says mastery. So here the sound of A and E in the American pronunciation can be noticed. Now it says that mastery is belongs to the word class noun and is uncountable or singular of something. The meaning is great knowledge about understanding of a particular thing. So here are the sentences. She has mastery of several languages. The orchestra is unrivaled in terms of technical mastery and sheer vitality. Now the second one is uncountable, followed by of or or, or the or somebody or something, control or power. So the example is human mastery of the natural world. He struggled for mastery over his emotions. The third one is thirsty. Again, we can see the British and American pronunciation and we can know and we know that thirsty is an adjective. The comparative form is thirstier and the superlative form is thirstiest as suggested by this entry in the dictionary and the meaning is needing or wanting to drink. Example is we were hungry and thirsty. The second meaning is having a strong desire for something and it means thirsty as well, to thirst. The next word is hungry. He is thirsty for power. We can see that thirsty can also be used as an adverb. The sentence is Paul drank thirstily. So here thirstily is an adverb. Now let's begin our lesson with the first activity that is to enrich our vocabulary. Find out the head words and write their phonemic transcription. Now what is a phonemic transcription? We can see that there are a few transcriptions after BRE or British English and then there is a slash and a word. So that is the phonemic transcription. Now it will be clear when we start writing our answer. So the answer for this question is, so what are the head words? So the head word is guru. So for guru, both the British pronunciation and the American pronunciation is guru. So this is the phonemic transcription. The next word is mastery. So for the word mastery, this is the second word, the phonemic transcription for British pronunciation is this, and for the American pronunciation, it's this. So these transcriptions are called the phonemic transcriptions. We have few other words like thirsty. We have another word, thirsty. So here are the phonemic transcription for the word thirsty. The British pronunciation, we can see that R is silent in British pronunciation and that's why we say thirsty in British pronunciation whereas in American pronunciation we can see R here hence we call it thirsty. So phonemic transcription basically teaches us how to pronounce a word. So these are the phonemic transcriptions. So the second question is, where does stress fall in the words thirsty, guru, and hungry? So now, the stress means when you pronounce a word, you focus on that particular phenomenon. So in thirsty, usually the stress falls in the th part. 
thirsty. So if you pronounce it once again, you might feel the stress while you say th for thirsty. For the word guru, it is o. So you might feel stress in guru. Similarly, in hungry, you have the ung sound for hungry as the stress in the word. So hungry, you have ung portion with more stress. Now, next portion is to read an answer. Now, we need to read the sentences and then take the correct answer for the question. The word class noun describes an object. Verb is the action performed. Adverb usually describes the adjective, while adjective is used to modify noun. So, now here, in the dictionary entry that we just read, we have the word thirsty and the word class is adjective, which is stated in the dictionary. So, the word fall under the word class adjective. Which of the following is an adverb? So, we just said that adverb is a word that is used to modify the adjective. So, thirsty is an adjective and thirstily is a modification made to thirsty. Hence, thirstily is our adverb. So, let us take it, let us choose thirsty and then let's see if there are a few other words which matches with our criteria of finding an adverb. Guru is definitely not an adverb because guru is a noun. It is describing a person. Thirsty is an adjective and mastery is another noun. So thirstily is the only adverb in the given options. The third question is, what does the word guru mean in this sentence? Most management gurus base their appeal on one big theme. A. A Hindu religious teacher. B. An, an expert in a particular subject. C. A Christian religious teacher. Or D. A Buddhist religious teacher. So here, most management gurus base their appeal on one big theme is not specifying any religion. In fact, the sentence says that most management teachers base their appeal on one big theme. So, Guru is not a Hindu religious teacher in this sentence. Neither it is a Christian religious teacher or Buddhist religious teacher while talking about in this context. So, the correct option is an expert in a particular subject. So, Guru in this sentence means an expert in a particular subject. The next question is... Which is the superlative form of the word thirsty? Is it thirsty, thirstiest, thirsty or most thirsty? So the answer is thirstiest. And the final question for this section is, which of the following is true in the dictionary entry? So we know in the dictionary, words are arranged in alphabetical order. That means the words starting with A comes before the words starting with B and the word starting with AB comes before the words starting with C and so on till Z. So we know an apple always comes before both because apple starts with an A which is first in alphabetical order and then we have both because B comes after A. Similarly, ambition comes before apple in the dictionary because ambition has the second letter M, which comes before the second letter P of apple. So now here, the question has asked us to find which one is true in the dictionary entry. The first option is the word mastery comes before the word thirsty. So M comes before T. So this is true. In the second option we have the word guru comes after the word thirsty. So, G comes before T, hence Guru should be before Thirsty. But the option is the word Guru comes after the word Thirsty. So, this is false. Next, we have the word Thirsty comes before the word Mastery. So, M comes before T. So, Mastery should be before Thirsty. But Thirsty cannot come before Mastery. So, this is also wrong. And finally, the word Thirsty comes before the word Guru is also not true because guru should come before thirsty. So we have option A as our correct answer. Next, we will answer the questions. The first question is, what does NAME and BRE stand for? 
So the answer is NAME stands for American English and BRE stands for British English. The next question is How many meanings does the word Guru have? The answer is the word Guru has two meanings. The first one is a Hindu or Sikh religious teacher or leader. And the second meaning is a person who is an expert on a particular subject. Write down any two meanings of the word thirsty. And the answer is any two meanings of the word thirsty are needing or wanting to drink. And two, having a strong desire for something. And the final question is what do SB and STH stand for? And the answer is SB stands for subject and STH stands for something. So here we've come to the end of this class. I am leaving you with a homework question. The homework for you is to form a sentence each using the words thirsty, guru and mastery. This is all for today's class. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or anything that you wish to share with us, please feel free to write to us at learning at Thanks for watching.